Hey fandom, how's it going? Uh, today we are going to be talking about, because Wolverine is everywhere now, uh, especially with the recent Death of Wolverine arc, I'm going to bring up a very popular Wolverine series and see if it lives up to the hype. Uh, I actually really enjoy this story, and if you are a fan of Clint Eastwood, I think you will too. And I'm talking about the old Clint Eastwood, the uh, old western style, you know, those things. I'm talking about Old Man Logan. Uh, Old Man Logan is a really interesting story because it's more or less a what-if story. Uh, it's written by Mark Millar and it's art by Steve McNiven. Uh, if you've known anything about Mark Millar, he is known for doing things very over the top, very stylized, and sometimes taking it a bit too far. He needs an editor really to rein him down or else his stories go way too crazy. But Old Man Logan, like I said, it's basically a what-if story and it tells the story of what happens when all the supervillains decide to join forces together and finally get their act together and they wipe out <clears throat> all of these the marvel heroes basically and they wipe them out by using wolverine um, i'm not gonna get too far too into how they use him but needless to say uh, wolverine plays a huge part into why there isn't barely any superheroes left uh, it is a really great story actually it's really interesting um, <clears throat> you have basically Wolverine who he's old now he's settled down he's got his family and he refuses to pop his claws there's a reason why he refuses to do it but he refuses to and he will not do it no matter what and what's happened is that he's living basically in this post-apocalyptic Western world where all the different areas of the United States are broken up into these different kingdoms based upon a, a villain for example, there's the Kingpin area. The Kingpin area is like this huge chunk of New York all the way down to like Florida. Just some example of that. Uh, there's an area for the Lizard. There's the Hulk gang that owns an area. Uh, the Hulk, if you've ever wanted to know who would win in a fight between Wolverine and the Hulk and how it would play out, it's in here. It's awesome. It's really cool how the fight plays out. Uh, basically, the story tells that... Um, Wolverine, he's old, he's kind of, you know, beaten up a little bit, and that he has to go on this, basically he has to drive Hawkeye around to complete this mission. I'm not going to get into too much detail of what the mission is and things like that, but they have to go across the United States, and along the way, they kind of get into these various situations dealing in this post-apocalyptic world. You're going to see, for example, like the Venom, uh, the Venom Serum, uh, not Venom, Venom Serum, the Venom Symbiote, attaches itself to like this prehistoric animal and you get to see what happens with that um, Hawkeye is actually blind in this story uh, he can't see the reasons aren't clear until halfway but it's a really great story um, it's a western it's a western at heart and it's an old style Clint Eastwood western where Wolverine speaks very little but what he does speak it has punch it has a power and the moment when Wolverine does decide to pop his claws finally after almost the entire book you're like hell yes it is going down now oh it's so good it is really a lot of fun uh, the thing is that people have a lot of problem with mark millar because he writes more for fun versus substance so if you're coming into this looking for some deep philosophical meaning i don't think you're gonna like this um if you were just looking for a really fun really interesting wolverine story that is over the top um yeah definitely um there's so much craziness in this that I was actually surprised, especially dealing with the Hulk, the Hulk family. Like, there's actually a Hulk family in this, and they're a bunch of, like, rednecks, inbred rednecks, and it's really crazy, but it's so much fun. Um, if you are interested in the art, the art is, ah, just, oof, Steve McNiven, wow. I love the art in this. So check that out. That's Hawkeye right there. And they actually do something crazy. They make the spider car, Spider-Man's car, actually pretty cool. Oh man, just looking through this makes me want, really want to read this again. It's such a great story. So it's gotten a lot of praise. I definitely think you should check it out if you're looking for a really great one and done Wolverine story. And if you think... I just want something, you know, bing, bam, boom, in and out, free of continuity. It's a what if. Enjoy it. Love it. I'm sure you will. Um, yeah. Comment. Subscribe. 
Let me know what you think. Steve Lee Lemon, Mark Noir, On Point. Check it out.